she said on the day of judgment there will be kantara or bridge please clarify that and if there is any difference between al kantara and al sirat yes al kantara is definitely different than al sirat uh, al sirat is laid on top of hellfire وَإِن مِّنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا كَانَ عَلَى رَبِّكَ حَتْمًا مَقْضِيًّا A surat is something is totally unseen to us because this is concerning the future on the Day of Judgment. One of these stages of uh, the hereafter. When the believers uh, will cross over this bridge which as the Ahadith explained, thinner than the hair, sharper than the sword. And on both sides, there will be hooks. So people will be passing on this very unique and strange uh, surat or path differently. Some people will cross with the speed of the light. Some people will cross with the speed of a fasting horse. Some people will be crawling and some people will not make it. And they will be hooked down to be purified in annar then after a while they will be taken out. So those who are lagging behind on their prayers, on their fasting, on the zakah, or were indulged in some of the uh, sins and the kabair, they will be hooked down and they will be taken to an nar to be purified from the sins. Then eventually they will be saved because the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, not a single person who has an atom weight of faith in his heart will remain in hellfire. But after crossing al sirat there will be another stage which is known as Al-Qantara. Al-Qantara is a bridge which is like an arched bridge. An arched bridge. Not necessarily a crossing over a river or like a sirat on top of an nar but in order to make it to Al-Jannah all the believers have to cross over this bridge. We don't know much about the description of the bridge other than what is mentioned in the sound hadith that the Prophet ﷺ said, as Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated. And the hadith is a sound hadith collected by Imam Bukhari that the Prophet ﷺ said, when people cross from uh, over an nar and they cross a sirat, فَيُحْبَسُونَ عَلَىٰ قَنْطَرَةٍ بَيْنَ الْجَنَّةِ وَالنَّارِ They will be all held on a bridge. It's laid between hellfire and paradise. فَيُقَصُّ لِبَعْضِهِمْ مِنْ بَعْضٍ مَظَالِمَ كَانَتْ بَيْنَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا So the mutual rights will be taken care of, settle the pending cases which was between them and each other. Then when they enter Al-Jannah, they enter Al-Jannah and there is no hurt feeling in the heart of anyone towards another believer. That is because Allah says in Surah Al-Hijr, number 47, وَنَزَعْنَا مَا فِي صُدُورِهِمْ مِنْ غِلٍ إِخْوَالًا عَلَى سُرِرٍ مُتَقَابِلٍ So when they enter Al-Jannah, no one would have any bad feeling towards anyone else from among the dwellers of paradise. And this is the function and the task of the bridge or Al-Aqantara which is after An-Nar and prior to entering Al-Jan.